Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me today on Dynamo BIM. On this episode of Dynamo Shorts, we're going to be talking about separating views and view templates with the category of views in Dynamo. Now, within Dynamo, or really with the Revit API, when we grab the category of views, not just views are reported meaning what we see within the project browser here within our project sample file that we start with pretty much on every dynamo short episode you can see here that we have our project browser views in addition to the views we also get our view templates in addition to randomly the project browser itself so to start, what we're going to do is we're going to double click and grab the views in quotation with code block. Now by doing this, essentially we are hardwiring the category of views rather than doing but the category drop down, which in different versions of Revit, there are different categories. Therefore, that drop down will vary. So we're going to go ahead and do all elements of the category. And when, once again, we get all of the elements of the category, you can see that we get about 47 elements within the Revit sample file. I may have a few more views than the standard sample file because I've worked with it on a few Dynamo short episodes. So you can see here that I get some floor plans, right? But then I'm also getting some additional views, which are actually view templates. And you can see the 18th line here is null. That's actually the project browser. So to start with the view category, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do a list.clean and get rid of that null value. And when I do that, essentially, I'm going to tell the preserve indices, give that a Boolean to be false so that it does not preserve the indices. And we can see there that 18th line there is no longer null. We've gotten rid of that null value. So essentially, I am going to now group this and say, these are the views as reported by Revit. Right, so it's actually views and view templates. So to separate these, this really nice node is actually called is view template. It's actually a Revit out of the box node, which is really nice. So if I ask these views, this cleaned list of views, are you a view template? You'll actually see some falses and some trues, right? So the eighth element here within our list, our clean list, is the start of our view template list. So I can then pull this over to a filter by Boolean mask, and now I have my clean list broken up into view templates, the in list, and not view templates, or just views within the out list. So if I ask these elements for their name, for example, you can see that I get all of my view template names. Maybe just throw a watch on these. And I can do the same thing with my views themselves, right? So I actually start to get the view templates group those together, make them gray because they're reporting, and our actual views without view templates. Once again, make that gray. So now we can pretty much do whatever we need to, either with our view templates, maybe we want to create new view templates, we want to edit these view templates, whatever it might be, or we can work with our views. Maybe we want to place them on sheets, we want to rename them, add a prefix, whatever it might be. We can start to work with those as individual lists of elements, as view templates and as views. Thank you so much for watching today on Dynamo BIM. Please make sure you like and subscribe if you found this useful and hope to see you on future episodes. Thanks so much.